Hey, this is Obelisk speaking, doing a One Piece chapter review or analysis, whatever you want to call it. And this is chapter 1019. And we start off with a beautiful cover page here. And it appears to be a, a summer beach episode here. And we see beautiful Robin here showing her goods and also Nami. Nami's, Nami's pretty good too. But you know, the main focus is Robin. And when we see that Robin is looking. I want to ship and I say she's looking at Zoro, but then Zanji is in the middle here, so it's odd. And also Nami is also looking that way, so it's clear. And I guess Zor Sanji's here. He has some sort of watermelon. And Zoro's already eating watermelon down here. We see Jinbei and we see Luffy and Usopp and Buruk riding Jinbei, which no homo. And we see the same whales that helped him in the escape of Impel Down. We see Frankie. And we see Chopper here. So this is a really... I like this cover page. This is really colorful. And, a co and a, all, all this is pretty cool. I didn't notice this. But Frankie, his hairdo is the same... Is this, is a, like a mini whale. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we got off with the first page. And we see that it's uh, Queen... The title of the chapter is Helicopter. Helicopter. Helicopters? Helicop... Whatever. And we see Queen and Queen's blasting off his beams from his... Hairdo. Yeah, from his hairdo. And Sanji said... Sanji says put something pretty interesting here that said Frankie, Frankie would love this technology. I guess Frankie would also like to meddle with Vegapunk... Uh, I mean, German's technology. Which is the suit, the suit, Frank, uh, Sanji suit. So that would be pretty cool. And it appears like these. It appears Zoro's on the verge of being injected. That stuff. And he's he's. They're trying to inject the the stuff with his bandages on. And Zoro's like giving them some comments. Says like, take off, take them off before you inject me. Oh, good point. Well, well, here goes. And I think they still inject them regardless. We see Zoro's like, I don't think these are qualified doctors. So the only way <laughs> Zoro's going to get up is with hardcore drugs. Oh my god. And we see that we go back to the sub. And it appears it's uh, Luffy. And... The Lost Crew is debating what to do. They're like, they should give us some pills, medicine, or whatever. And Luffy just screams out what he wants, meat. Meat. He wants meat to recover. And he, Luffy has like a second body. So he could recover because of that. And then we immediately shift back to Frankie and Sasaki here. And up here as we see the, the gifters that are turning on everybody. And... Sasaki states it doesn't matter that you're under enemy's influence, it's still treason. Pretty much. Well, it's true, it's still treason. Now get out of my way. And Sasaki goes high reform, which I'm not gonna lie. It looks okay, I guess, yeah. And he still has the V for victory slash here in his stomach, which is pretty cool. And it appears that Sasaki is not a swordsman. His sword appears to break apart and start spinning on the mechanics or the how that actually works is unclear i suspect uh what's his name queen being involved here and his sword starts spinning here and i guess they're both complementing each other in a way here too because they're all tough as nails and then we see something maybe that's why the title of the chapter is doing this and I don't know how is this, how is this biologically possible, like, an anatomically possible, but he starts to spin his neck, or that little piece, that ornament, or the defense ornaments, uh, the dinosaur has, and he starts to spin it, and he starts to levitate like a helicopter, and he, Frankie is pretty much the audience here. Is that how dinosaurs work? And the answer is no. That's not how dinosaurs work. 
And this is Oda, I guess, being really creative, but I'm not gonna lie, it looks really corny and dumb. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of diminishes uh, the seriousness of this fight, because he's pulling this move. So, whatever, it's whatever, it's Oda, so Oda likes to do this sometimes. And he'll make it work, so it's working right now, so whatever. And Sasaki immediately helicopters. Oh yeah, so they attack his helicopters. And he starts slashing the uh, gifters here. And we see limbs being cut off right here, like straight out, straight off swords being cut off. And, she, and this girl has like these claw things and they're literally being cut off. So I wonder if these guys are done for good. And then he attacks Frankie. Frankie repels him. And he was a, and Frankie states something here. What kind of mobility is that? I wasn't expecting an aerial battle. Or is Frankie implying he's not good at aerial battles? Mm -hmm. And Sasaki stands up. And he does like a charge thing. Wait, 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 what? Oh, I see. He does like a reverse on his helicopter thing. And he pushes himself back. To, I guess, to grab more momentum for a charge. And he does say Rhino Space Acquired. So he does push himself back. Did he... Was this horn always... Was this horn always black? Huh. Let me see. Yeah, apparently it was. Yeah, it's always been black. I thought he put armor and hockey in his horns, but... I don't know. So he charges Frankie, and... This Wapo metal gets distorted and bent. And... I guess he damaged uh, Frankie's uh, shoulder, uh, my shoulder loaded rockets, whatever shoulder, he damaged them and they explode and then Frankie does the Frankie stuff, the general suplex and he does a suplex move and that's pretty cool. And he does another V for victory slash, but Sasaki dodges here, pretty impressive, Sasaki with his helicopter. How does he even see? And Frankie states, I'm not actually good with swords fighting. So that's true. The only, and we see something pretty cool here. Sasaki, Sasaki straight up cuts uh, Frankie's sword. And Frankie prepares to do the general cannon here. He's like building up space here. He combines and he lands a direct hit here. He sends Sasaki flying. But Sasaki, it looks like he passed out, but all of a sudden, nope, his eyes widen up. Sasaki's back in the game, and he says, don't symbol fear, like show respect to the Toby Ropa Animal Kingdom Pirates. And for, take us, also, I guess, if I have to take both of us out, so be it. So he's prepared to do a move that's supposedly going to take both of them out. But I think Sasaki is unaware that this is a suit of, like, this is like a mecha. So if he takes this out, he doesn't really take out Frankie. But he does take out this. This is like the General Frank, uh, Frankie is pretty much out of commission. It gets crushed. We see it get, like, pulverized here, like, breaks all apart. But... Frankie does a pretty cool move here where he jumps out before he impacts. And he does a radical beam directly to the stomach. Uh, we see explosion in his back so I'm assuming it pierced him. And Sasaki has white eyes and it appears he's out cold. So this is another victory for the Straw Hats and I wonder if this is going to follow a trend. I would like one of the Toby Opas to win actually. But then who's next on the battle line? It's Robin and Brook, but that's two against one, so hmm. I like Black Maria, but it's not gonna happen. Anyway, and then we immediately shift back to rooftop skull domain. So it's Yamato and Kaido. I recognize the value as a soldier Yamato. Wadododo. 
And she says, is that what a father's supposed to say? I worked hard to acquire that devil fruit. Now here it's Kaido. I never intended you to eat it. I was hungry. I didn't know what happened. So Bishima is stating here that whatever devil fruit Yamato has, Kaido put in effort to actually get it. And he never intended for her to eat it. So that means one, that means two or three things. Kaido had someone else in mind to eat it. Two, he probably didn't want his daughter to have a devil fruit. Which is pretty cool. And Yamato, I guess he was starving her. Or like, he had her in shackles. And it does stay like, and I couldn't swim anymore. And he, and Yamato, we see a, we see like a snout here. And she has feline, uh, canine teeth. So, it's not a tiger. I don't think it's a tiger. I highly doubt it's a tiger. And she states she tried to kill Kaido multiple times, but each time, she she just got beat up, and that made her stronger. Those cuffs weren't the only thing keeping, and it was Kaido. Those cuffs were just, I suppose those cuffs were just to ner to nerf her devil fruit. So she could, she was she was nerfed, and she did, and she knocked out Ulti, which is impressive in my way. And then we see a side panel of her, of her devil fruit. And she's in hybrid form. And she looks really impressive. And it's it's pretty cool how her horns took another shape. Or are they the same? No, they took another shape straight up. They took another shape. And in my opinion, I think she has like a tail going down here. So I'm thinking she's some sort of dog or wolf. Some sort of mythical wolf wolf in Japanese. But then again it could also be the a keating, which is like a goat or like a reindeer. Some sort of reindeer. But I'm 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 going it's a wolf. She's more like a wolf type. And we also see that Yamato's taking damage because she has blood here. So it has to be some sort of mythical. Because we see like these flame things coming out of her. In her hands. And also her chest. And her legs too. So I'm thinking she's some sort of high, uh, mythical wolf. I don't know what type. And she also states that then I can't call myself Odin. So I really like this. I'm hoping we... And it's pretty cool they're both using clubs here. And they're both exchanging blows with their cubs. And they're both in hybrid forms. And Kaido acknowledges. Kaido acknowledges Yamato's strength. Which in my opinion if Yamato joins the crew. She could pretty much be on par with Zoro maybe. There's no way she's, she's on equal footing with Luffy. So I'm thinking she's she pretty much could be on equal footing with Roger. Oh, uh, with uh, never mind, with Zoro, which is impressive. I could bum her down, but I don't think so. The fact that she has a mythical, mythical zoning is also a huge boost, and I highly doubt she's awakened. Then again, we've never seen an awakened. Mythical Zoan or mythical double fruit, any type of mythical. So it's highly unlikely Kaido is also awakened. So, but I would expect to. I was pondering, I wonder if there's a, a stage two of hybrid form, some sort of like stronger stage hybrid form. If that were to be true, then I'm, I'm expecting Kaido to pull it off here. Like, okay, you can go even beyond or something like that because. Luffy's fight with, how would I say, I'm trying to think back to, um, how would I say, uh, Don Flamingo and Luffy. When Luffy finally obtained the upper hand and was fighting, pretty much beaten down Don Flamingo, Don Flamingo pulled out the awakening. And that pretty much, pretty much put him on almost equal grounds, almost equal grounds. Luffy still had the the slight more advantage. And I'm wondering if this is going to be the same. If Luffy does a gear 5th. If. That's if. 
is Kaido going to go into an even more powerful hybrid form to try to even out the plane? That would be very interesting to see happen. Anyway, I think this is a good chapter. We get the culmination of Sasaki and Frankie's fight. And General Frankie, the giant mecha, is pretty much out of commission. And this also kind of implies that if it would have been Frankie without the mecha, Frankie would have probably lost against Sasaki. Period. I just think he would have lost. There was no way he would have been able to compete with Sasaki. Honestly. He would have lost. And that and that leads me to believe that's why Oda put Baroque and Robin against Black Marie. Because there was it's simply no it's not possible for them to beat them. Cause just because they're Zoan and they're like they're Zoan types. And I'm pondering, is Sasaki gonna recover? Probably. So we're yet to see. And I, I'm really digging Yamato's Devil Fruit. I want her to join the crew even more. I'm hoping she really does join the crew. Because she would be an excellent addition to the crew. And this whole Odin. Call myself Odin. I guess she wants to be like Odin. So props to her. Anyway, I think this is a good chapter. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day. Peace out.